Hello everyone, I'm Ishani, a design team member at Craft Angles and with the festival season on and Diwali approaching, today I'm sharing three quick and easy cards with one stamp set called Shubh Lab by Craft Angles. It has a beautiful illustration of Goddess Lakshmi and small stamps which we associate with Diwali. These can also be made into a bulk order because of the easy designs. Also, please pardon me for my voice today. I have been down with cold. I am using Craft Angles Natural White 240 GSM paper, which is recommended for stamping and light water coloring. I started with cutting an oval die cut from the same paper, and I am using Craft Angles Color Mist in Lemon Twist for adding some color to my paper. I spray some color. And after it has dried, I am stamping the Goddess Lakshmi stamp from the stamp set with the help of my stamping platform. I am using Crimson Ink by Altenew. You can use any ink pad that you may have. Then on the same natural white paper which is cut a little smaller than A2 size, I missed the color Lemon Twist through the stencil called Geometric Flowers by Craft Angles. I take another sheet of paper to transfer the ink which is left on the stencil for a later project. After the ink has dried up, which you can expedite by using a heat tool, I stamp the sentiment Happy Diwali with the same crimson color that I have used for the Goddess Lakshmi. Then I take A2 size cardstock called Rich Red by Craft Angles for the base of my card. And adhere the stencil background with glue and form mount my goddess Lakshmi. With this card I want to share with you that you don't always have to color an image. I love to color but when you have to make in bulk and if the stamp itself is so detailed like this goddess Lakshmi stamp you can try just stamping with colored inks. I want to ask you, do you make the footprints of Goddess Lakshmi on the Diwali evening? We do it and that's one of my favorite things to do, make Lakshmi Mata's footprints on the floor with our hands. I love that the stamp set includes beautiful feet stamp. I die cut the same natural white paper that I used in my first card and with the same new crimson ink, I'm stamping the feet on one side of my card panel. What do you do if the stamping isn't perfect? I use the same color pen to fill in the gaps. Simple right? Restamping freaks me out. Then I am using Versamark ink to stamp my Happy Diwali and heat emboss it with gold embossing powder. For adding more interest to my card, I use A2 size panel in rich red and the same geometric flower stencil that I used in my first card and use color mist in autumn blaze to mist through the stencil. Because my card base is a little bigger than the stencil, I cover one of the edges with white paper and after I have applied color through the stencil once, I take out the paper and position the stencil again and spritz the spray to cover the edge which was not covered in the first time. This way you get a subtle background which gives added interest to the card. I use double sided tape to position the panel on the card base and here is a clean and simple and a quick card for mass production. For the last example, I am using the Shri and Swastik mini stamps from the set to make my card base and I use the same natural white paper. 
the same Altenew Crimson ink pad is what I use here also and first I stamp the swastik on the four corners of my paper and then I stamp Shri in the middle of the two swastiks. I die cut a scallop frame from rich red cardstock and stamp Happy Diwali with Versa mark and heat emboss it with the same gold embossing powder. Then I mount it on foam tape and adhere it in the center. And ta da! Here is another clean and simple quick card. I hope you liked all these examples of quick and easily mass producible ideas with just one stamp set and would look at your stamp sets and see how you can stretch your supplies and use those little stamps which are part of a stamp set. All the supplies used for making these cards are linked in the description below. If you have any queries, please comment below and we would surely get back to you. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more ideas on creating beautiful things. Thank you and have a lovely and safe festival season.